Okalopmuno, a peaceful agrarian community, has over the years been challenged with portable water, given the far location and alleged pollution of a stream by herders, as well as its dilapidated two government water projects. Concerned with how the people meet their daily water needs, especially the long trek to neighboring Onicholuna community, and heavy reliance on a few private boreholes in Okala, the Oshimli North Local Government Council embarked on the Okala Water Project to supply water to the community. The Council Chairman, Honorable Innocent Isewazia, said the project was in response to the request of the traditional ruler during a private discussion, adding that the project would be replicated across communities in the local government area. We've given them water. We believe that, like I, my charge to them is that they should also take good care of the projects that we, we have just commissioned. This is all the first. More of such projects will be coming their way. The special guest of honor and PDP House of Assembly candidate in the area who commissioned the project, Mr. Frank Esenwa, and the chief press secretary to the state governor, Mr. Olisei Fajika, enumerated various people-oriented projects initiated and completed by Honorable Esenwazia and urged the people to protect the projects and remain supportive of the PDP. It is a very good thing and a positive thing for them to be steadfast and remain with the party that has brought all this goodness to them. The traditional ruler of Okala Kingdom, Obi Clement Ifani Chuko Ejofo, the Omu of Okala, Nokoba Lobe, among others, described the project as a big relief to them, adding that only a few privileged families could afford to dig private boreholes in the area as the water depth was located at 450 feet below the ground and required a huge sum to execute. The issue is when you identify, you promise you execute it. I want to promise you that we are fully behind you. And the product or the organ that produced you the event also saw the defection of members of the All Progressives Congress APC to the PDP and were received by the PDP chairman in Oshime North, Chief Nduka Oguda, who handed them the party card and umbrella, which is the symbol of their new party. Honorable Esewezia, in company of the dignitaries present, also commissioned a building constructed and furnished by the council at the Kala Palace, comprising the Palace Chapel and a traditional meeting place, Ogwa. In a related development, the Oshimli North Local Government Chairman, Honorable Esewazia, has also inspected the ongoing Ubolu Markets project being constructed by the council, comprising 250 lock-up stores, 200 open stores, 200 meters drainage, an abattoir, and a car park. Honorable Esewazia said the project being handled by the Matura Shalom Agro Global Enterprise was born out of the need to curb the erosion and flood menace affecting traders, as well as to open up the market to build the economy of the area, given the market's strategic location. The contractor on site, Mr. Chukudimosu, said residents had been cooperative, adding that the projects will be ready in December. Massive drainage. I don't know if you saw it, if you captured it. Yeah, because we noticed that uh, this shanty here, this particular place, we were having uh, erosion uh, issues. So, with what we've done, we've been able to, you know, control our savage situation. 250 units and another 200 open shops for our farmers and other businessmen here. The traders thanked the local government for the projects. Eunice. Emmy Azia reporting.